everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today we're going to touch base on all of the Halloween prop knives that I do have based on Michael Myers and the knives that he actually uses in the movies I just got the newest one in it is the 1978 Halloween uh, poster prop knife which is based on the actual uh, poster it has a nice little curve to it I'm going to show you what that one looks like here in a second but let me show you the box art and then we're going to go ahead and get into the other prop knives that I have all in one video guys okay so stay tuned for that okay all right be right back okay we are back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you the inside of the box now notice about these boxes that each and every one of them knife wise they have different carriers to hold the knives in this one here is an exception as compared to the other ones I'm gonna show you what the box art looks like real quick all right now as you can see the actual curve of the knife right there that's very cool looking All right. Oops, sorry. and that's what the box art looks like now you'll notice that they have these little discrepancies here that's because the knife was actually laying on top of the box because it's curved and they just uh, kind of strapped it with some plastic straps you guys just cut them off and the knife slides out easily Okay, I also try to preserve the boxes in themselves, but uh, sometimes they're so fragile, like the lids, when you try to pull them uh, open just to get the knives out, they have a tendency to rip, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I like to keep my knives inside the boxes, so we don't get no discrepancies on the knives, all right, because they are very cool looking knives. But anyway, this is the actual uh, layout box that uh, the knife actually lays on top of. And each, each and every one of these have a different art to it. And I'm going to show you what they look like because I'm going to show you the other knives as well, okay? And that's what she's now. She's rather long, as you can see, okay? But anyway, let me show you the actual other box that it actually comes in. It's very similar to the 1978 one that uh, is exactly the same, believe it or not. Okay? Now, because this box is so long, I can't really show you the full view of this. I mean, I can pull it all the way back and show you what it looks like, but but it's really long, okay? Now, the box art in the back of it, this is just like the 1978 uh, version. Uh, he's sitting on, uh, standing on top of a staircase, which if I can try to show you a little bit here, on an angle here, you can actually see a little bit of Michael uh, standing at the top of the uh, staircase okay also comes with writing all right we're gonna do this Star Wars style you ready dun, 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 dun. No, I'm just messing with you <laughs> well anyway that's the actual artwork that is on the back of the box okay and on the side okay and you got your lid okay it's exactly the same as the 1978 box Except the knife is a little bit different, okay guys? Okay, enough about that. Let's move on to the knife itself, okay? Alright, here is the knife, okay? Let me grab it, okay? I'll pull back a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Alright. It's about 18 inches long, and as you can see, it's got a serious curve to it. It is because it's based on the poster concept art, okay? You get to see my pretty face. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like up close. You can see the texture. The handle is really nice. The knife is just like the other ones. It has a nice little shine to it. Not super, super um, smooth, but you really it's really hard to get it really super smooth unless it's made of metal. But this is made of plastic, and it has a certain amount of flex to it. Okay. The handle ha also has a curve to it, so you can grip it, stab somebody with it. No, you can don't do that. Okay, right. but that's the actual prop knife from the 1978 poster version. Okay, been wanting this one. This one's uh, actually came in yesterday. I was going to do a video, but I said, "Nah, I'll wait till tomorrow." Could do this thing first thing in the morning. Now we're going to move on to the next one here, which is in fact the 2018 version it is the smallest of the knives I'm going to show you the box art 
okay? I'm not the 2018 version, it's actually the 2021 version. The Halloween Kills Knife, okay? It's got the similar box art, except it's got a little bit of art down here, okay? Now on the back, we don't really see anything, okay? But it does have the similar uh, typing on the box, okay? Now this box in itself is different in the way that it holds its knife, okay? It sits in its plastic, which I'm going to take off here. I'll show you what that looks like, okay? Now, that's actually sitting in the plastic holder, okay? I'll show you the knife here in a second. The box art. As you can see, it is inverted, so you can actually slip the uh, the actual plastic holder inside of this of this holder here. It does have similar art, more like uh, like a design. Nothing really distinguished, as you can see. All right. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out of its holder. There we go. Put that back into its sleeve. Alright, now this is the knife in Halloween Kills. It is a lot smaller than the other knives, okay? Pull it back a little bit. Alright, it is a chef's knife, but it is an 8-inch chef knife. It's not a 10-inch. The one that he used in 1978 is most likely probably a 10-inch or even longer because they are extremely long. They're bigger knives than this one here. This one here reminds me of my Henkels. I got... Uh, Four star and five star Henkels, very similar to these knives here. Okay, but anyway, that is what that looks like. All right. Okay, enough about that one. We'll put him back into his holder. All right, but that's the way to go in there. There we go. All right. Now we're going to move on to the next one here which will be this one here is the 1978 chef's, kni chef's knife that he used in the very first movie okay I'll show you that here in a second here let me show you the box art and like I said the box art is exactly the same as the uh, the poster version of it All right. there's nothing really different about it as you can see okay the back of it has him on the staircase, okay, as you can see, all the way straight down. This is a very long box too, okay. And again, Star Wars, dun, 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 dun. no, I'm, mess I'm just messing. All right, there you go, guys. All right. Now, with that in mind, let's just put that down. Now, this particular holder is just the opposite of the 2018 version. The plastic sleeve goes over the knife and then it goes over the holder. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the sleeve off here. There you go. And pull this out of the way and show you the knife in a second. Now, let me show you the box art here. All right. All right. Now, unfortunately, because it's huge, I gotta do this on an angle. That's the box art for the 1978 knife. They call it a butcher knife, but it's more uh, in the style of a French or chef's knife. But I'll show you that in a second here. But you can see the holder is a little different, okay, and the way that it looks. See, each, each and every one of these... Um, Knives when it comes to um, Michael Myers, they seem to be in different kind of uh, style when they bring when they send them to you. Well, here's the knife. This thing is absolutely huge. See, it's gigantic. All right, it's literally got to be well over 12 inches long. Okay, so the knife in itself, um, if it was technically a, a chef's knife, it would be a 10 inch, because I got 10 inches that are just as long as this. And I like using those big knives over the small ones. 
they're not knuckle busters. Now this is more like a French knife because you can see how wide it is back here and the handle's way up at the top. So when you're actually using it, you don't smash your knuckles on the table. French knives have a tendency to have a wider uh, blade to them. And that's why I like using those. Chef's knives are built that way too, but sometimes their handles are a little too big or they're set in the center of the knife, so it's not as good, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, anyway. But anyway, that is the 1978 knife that Michael stabs people with. And it's an extremely long knife. He could literally pierce somebody. It would literally come out the other side of their body, okay? So now with that in mind, let's get that one out of the way. And eventually I'll put them all back in their boxes. Okay, now we went through that, that. All right, now let's go through this one here. This one right here is the Halloween 4. The, I think it's good. Yeah, the Return of Michael Myers. Now the reason why they say the Return of Michael Myers it is because in part three you only see a cameo of him on the television set and a lot of people you know you got your fans that don't like that because technically a lot of people are not aware that the actual Halloween franchise was not supposed to be based on Michael Myers it was actually supposed to be based on a bunch of different Halloween type movies uh, scary ones but but because of Michael Myers being so popular in 1978 uh, they decided to go ahead and make another one, and then it just took off after that, okay? Okay, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, okay? Then I'm going to show you the differences between the actual box art. All right, Halloween 4, okay? Put that down. Now, the actual knife in itself on this one is just the opposite. It's very similar to the Halloween Kills. It's sitting inside the holder. Instead of being on the opposite end and having the cover on top. And I don't know why they do that, but they do what they do. But anyway, it's, it's cool. But anyway, let's get, let me show you the box right here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now let me turn it this way. All right. Now that's the actual box art. Okay, I'm going to show you Michael here. Now as you can see. The mask in itself, in my opinion, I'm not a big fan of some of the masks for these movies. I do like the original, and I also like the Warlock version, which is Halloween 2. And the other ones are hit and miss for me until we get to 2018. That's a very cool looking mask. But uh, when I got the Trick or Treat Studios version of the mask, I don't like the paint job on it. I think it's a little too heavy. I might have it repainted or something. I'm not sure yet. Um... And the 2018 or 2021, the Halloween Kills, I'm not a fan of that one either. Uh, I like the looks of it, but I don't, okay? Uh, but anyway, long story short, the masks, when it comes to the franchise, are hit and miss. Now, the Rob Zombie version, a lot of people seem to hate the new versions. Anytime you get a franchise, people want to just constantly reboot them, which is not a bad thing in some aspects. But you always got those fans that always seem to hate the reboots for their own reasons. I've always seemed to like them. Like the one uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I liked that one because it was very dark, serious tones. 2009's version of uh, Jason. He was big and beastly. He went back to his human form. Uh, criticism there as well. The new Chucky movie. Criticism there as well. The Rob Zombie movies. Constant criticism between the two of them. Don't understand why, but it is what it is. People are just the way, well, it's the way people are. But anyway, let me show you the knife, all right? And I'm going to show you the difference between this knife as well as the 1978 knife because they look very similar, okay? So let me show you what that looks like that way, okay? And I'm going to show you the handle. The handle has this little uh, spade. That's the only thing that's different between the two knives. And this knife is not as long as the 1978 knife. That knife in itself is extremely long. It's probably the longest knife that he uses. The Elrod knife for part two. Uh, Trick or Treat Studios does a version of it, but it's like a foam rubber. And I was like, nah, I'm not ordering that. I like him to look like a real knife, not like a plastic looking thing. 
Okay, but that's this particular knife here, and I'm going to show you the difference between the 1978 and this one here, okay? And you're going to see some vast differences. I'm going to put them together, okay? Now, the handles are slightly different, but not much, okay? This one here has more of a, well, actually, they're pretty much the same, let me see. All right. Let me show you what that looks like here, guys. Right. And if you line them up, they're about the same size. This one here, the 1978 version, or is this it? No. The um, uh, the Return of Michael Myers, that handle itself is a lot long. Well, not a lot longer, but just a little bit longer than the 1978. Now, putting them together, all right, I'm going to line them up. Now, you'll notice that the 1978 version is just a wee bit longer, okay? So it is the longest knife that Michael uses, okay? But that is the subtle differences between the two knives. But they're not much different, okay? Sorry about that, guys. All right. Those are those knives. So let's go ahead and put that down. And then we're going to move on to the last one that I have. Hang on, let me find it. There she is. This one right here. It is the Spirit Halloween version, the bloody variant. And as you can see, it's vastly different than Trick or Treat Studios. Alright. Now, I'm not sure what movie this came from, but if it were the right exact size and stuff, I think it would be closer to the return. But the 1978 one, obviously. But see, as you can see. Hang on, let me get this right here. All right, now you can see that they are just a little bit different. I didn't think they, uh, when it comes to Spirit Halloween, they didn't pay attention to the actual size or dimensions of the knife. But that is one of their knives. And now, what movie it came from? I don't know. They probably just made it just because it's a Michael Myers knife. Now, this is extremely flexible. Okay, it is the most flexible of the ones that I have. Okay, but outside of that, it is a typical butcher knife or actually a chef's knife. But um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. You've seen my entire collection of knives. I've got a total of five of them. Like I said, I got the last one in. I'm going to clean them up so I can get the spots off of the blades, put them back in their boxes, and put them back on their shelves. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out another video real soon, probably by the end of the week, because I do have a Trick or Treat Studios version of the burlap bag version of Sam from uh, Trick or Treat, movie, the movie that came out in 2008 from Michael Doherty. I will be doing a review on that one once that comes in. I just got to wait for it to come in. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day. And thank you for watching.